Hello everyone and welcome back to P3D for another Flight Sim video. Uh, today we are in Glasgow, uh, the hometown of Glasgow, for another flight request today. Today we are in the Airsoft Airbus A321. I'm not actually sure if I've been in the A321 on this channel. Nevertheless, here it is and as you can see um, by the livery, we are Thomas Cook today. Um, where are we flying? We are flying to La Palma, if you couldn't tell by the title already. This is a flight request by a UK aviation spotter. Thank you for your flight request, um, and this will be the flight. I hope you uh, enjoy it. But flight time today is to be around 3 to 4 hours. Um, we've got heavy winds forecasted, um, and the weather is looking decent down at um, La Palma. So, Or is it Madeira? It's one of the two. Uh, but overall, it's to be a really nice flight, um, no bad weather forecast, um, so that is good news all around. It's definitely not like, it uh, definitely won't be like uh, the approach into Philadelphia last week. Good God. Um, but yes, we're at UK 2000's Glasgow. The sun has just come up. It is about 10 past 5 in the morning. Uh, this flight is scheduled to leave at 20 past 6 and we are scheduled to arrive at quarter past 10 that's British local time. Uh, without further ado, uh, let's get onto the flight deck and make our way down to La Palma. Okay, and welcome back on board the Aerosoft flight deck. Uh, the catering vans have now just moved out of position uh, and we're ready to start setting up on the flight deck. First thing we're going to do is we're going to come up to the light switches as always and turn the nav light on and we'll turn the wing light on as well. Turning obviously the seatbelt signs and the smoking signs on and arming the emergency lights. We're going to engage external power and we're going to turn all of the fuel pumps uh, into their on positions. We'll run a quick fire test on engine 1, engine 2 and the APU um, like so. And we can also run a, a ground proximity test as well. Um, which I believe is down here. It should be down here. It's uh, down here somewhere. We might miss out on it, I'm afraid. I have no idea where the... Is it, is it one of these? I think it's one of these. Um, no, those are the warnings. Oh well, I cannot find it. <laughs> so, um, we're up. I don't think it's... Is this it? Is that it? I don't think so. Oh well. I guess I guess we we'll just assume it's working then. I would imagine. I swear they were modelled on this. Um, I must be uh, wrong about that, right? So down to the FMC we go, um, and we'll go into the initialisation page. So today we are flying from Glasgow, um, which is Echo Golf Papa Foxtrot, to uh, La Palma, which is Golf. Uh, is that Golf Charlie Lima Alpha and the flight number is Kestrel so that's TCX1930 like so cost index of 30 and cruising at oh I've not actually got my cruising altitude uh, one moment okay and uh, got that it's 37,000 feet so we'll stick that in there. Uh, so for the flight plan, uh, we're departing obviously off of runway 23 today and we are using the Norbo One Hotel departure and we'll insert that departure into the flight plan. Then from Norbo we take a direct to Dean's Cross. So we'll insert direct into Dean's Cross and then from Dean's Cross we will take an airway which is Uniform November uh, 864 I believe uh, and from that airway we will then move on to WAL um, and from WAL we connect to another airway which is Uniform November 862 and from there we move on to LAMAT. Uh, I will fill these in quickly um, and I will be back with you as soon as I've finished filling in all of the airways. Okay, and that only took a couple seconds. We have inserted all of the uh, airways into our route. So we've got a perfect route going out of Glasgow. 
Um, we'll finally just make sure that everything else is fine, uh, transition is correct. That's uh, 6000 and we're taking flaps 1. So that gives us our V speeds. Uh, and for the climb, that looks fine. We'll keep that empty for now. And that can stay empty uh, for now as well. That will all fill itself in also. So that's the FMC uh, mainly done. We're taking quite a lot of fuel today, 17,000 kilos. Now at first that sort of looked off, but uh, I, that must just be me um, thinking that looks a little bit weird. Um, it just seemed a bit odd. Uh, I've never really taken that much fuel on an uh, Airsoft Airbus before because I generally do uh, quite short flights. But I guess uh, you can do longer flights, obviously, in the Airbus, um, as shown by the little Airbus A318 doing the hop across the pond uh, occasionally. So we will go out now and we will uh, have a look at all of the bags uh, getting put on board. Well, the bags are now being put on board uh, Kestrel uh, 1930. As you can see here, the glorious red and blue bags, once again, making a return through Menzies Aviation uh, this morning. Um, the nameless baggage handlers putting on all different tapes. We've got bags and we got crates. Um, I cannot wait to see what they turn into uh, when we arrive in La Palma, as they often do. Um, GSX, guys. I'm just going to make a quick plug for GSX. If you haven't got it already and you're really invested in flight sim, I would say you can fly in default sceneries for a while if it means saving up to get GSX. One of the most immersive things um, about Flight Sim is GSX. I'll link it in the description today. That's add-on of the day. Uh, definitely is GSX. So that's linked in the description uh, for this flight. So if you want it, um, they'll just wait. If you can afford it, I'm sure there'll be deals on it. Uh, there's a lot of deals. The best place to look, and I've said it many times, but I'll say it again, Sim Market. Uh, if you go to Sim Market, they have uh, deals all the time for all of your Flight Sim add-ons that you could ever want. Um, I'm actually looking at a couple because I've got a few flight requests and so there was actually a sale on a couple airports I wouldn't name them because it's a surprise um, but I have uh, put a little bit of cash aside for those so those will all be coming soon uh, do not worry um, I just tend to look out for the sales just so I don't get you know drowned or I don't I don't think drowned is the right word uh, all my money doesn't get wiped you know from buying all these sceneries but um, lots of stuff coming soon, uh, it's definitely going to be uh, a fun summer. Uh, but the bags, as you can see, are almost uh, finished being loaded on board the passengers, all sitting ready for their summer holidays. Um, so I would say let's kick off the beginning of this uh, summer season as we go into June um, with a flight down to the Canaries. I will see you back on the flight deck. And we're back on the flight deck now, just getting ready to obviously depart, uh, bring the beacon light on now, letting uh, the crew know that we are almost ready to go um, and the APU is starting to power itself up. Uh, we can also now disconnect the jetway from the aircraft that's going to start pulling back and uh, we're going to call up pushback um, in a couple minutes after we have fired up the APU and cleared all of the ground stuff. Just going to put away the uh, tray table um, and prepare ourselves for anything else. We'll tune Unicom uh, as well on 122.8, like so. There we go. Um, and we will prepare the weather radar. We'll not turn it on just yet. Um, we can also come down here and uh, prepare the transponder code since there's no ATC. Um, we'll just put in the uh, 2000, blank 2000, as we always do. Um, and I believe uh, I can hear the APU in the background, so that must mean that the APU is giving us power. So I will go ahead and call up uh, the uh, ground units to give us a pushback and a departure. Okay, and we are on the flight deck. Um, we are now releasing the parking brake uh, as we begin this pushback. Uh, we will now commence primary ignition if anyone gets that reference. Good on you. So we'll set ignition start and fuel control switch engine 2 to the on position. Um, and we will start to see uh, in 1 rise. Uh, in 2 rise we've got oil pressure on engine 2. Um, okay, that's continuing to rise, looking good. 
did I push myself back in the right direction? I always get this wrong and I don't know why. I, I, it, why? Please don't push, don't push me back facing the wall, it'll be the most humiliating thing. Um, and I'll be pretty upset about it. Did that convince him? I hope I convinced him because I thought it was pretty convincing there. No, I don't think I convinced him. Damn it. Right, it's, it's okay, we can work with this. It's... I think basically what I'm going to start doing from now on is whatever the direction I'm pushing back, I'm just going to click the opposite. That should work. Hopefully. Hopefully that should work. Okay, uh, and... Engine 2, still arising. Uh... Actually, that looks to have stabilised. We'll go ahead and start engine one. Okay, yeah. Definitely getting pushed back in the wrong direction here. Well, that is, uh... Unfortunate for us. Yeah. Oh well, let's not dwell on it, I'm afraid. Let's not dwell on the past. Uh, okay, and pushback is almost complete except flaps one. Arm speed brakes. And flaps and slats extended. Extended. While the brake will set to max as well. And we will set the parking brakes. And we will check that... Uh, AGC is still rising. Well, it's not stationary. That looks like a good engine start on both engines. And we'll power down the APU, shall we? And I believe we're just waiting on our tow truck to... Or the marshal are here to unlock our gear. Um, and then we can taxi out to the active runway. And do you know what's he just for putting, pushing me back in the wrong direction? I'm just going to fry the ground crew with a weather radar. Serves them right. How dare they push us back facing the wall. It's humiliating. Um, nevertheless, we shall prevail um, victorious. And I'm sure they won't do it again with my new technique. Okay, so there goes the push back tug. Pushing back. We'll also blind the guy. Uh, give him a little lesson. So taxi light on. And runway turnoffs are also on. And if that hasn't blinded them, then or fried them, then I suppose he's learned his lesson not to do it again. Right, uh, they're pushing back, and we are good to go. And we're always like clear on the left. And uh, once this guy moves, we'll be clear on the right. So everything else is done except for pushing us back to normal. Um, and I will see you all at the holding point. Okay, and we are at the holding point for runway 23. Uh, we're going to set our TCAS like so, and uh, we're going to turn on all the lights. So taxi lights uh, can come on to nose lights, take off, and strobes can come on. We'll bang the cabin crew just to let them know that we're about to take off. Uh, and we will start the clock, and we will now 
taxi on to the uh, runway. We're clear on the approach. No traffic in sight. This is Vatsim, but it's Glasgow and, you know, it's a morning, so it's derelict. Um, should get busier as we go down to the London area, I hope. Uh, so, we are quite heavy today, however, I believe Flex should just pull it off. Um, so we can... Approaching. Two, three. Okay, thank you. Uh, we can flex it on the takeoff, um, and that should work out fine for us. Like so. Also, question of the day, let me know in the comments below, uh, what do you prefer? Do you prefer long haul flights, or do you prefer short hops, uh, like this one? Or do you prefer medium hops like this one? I suppose this is medium hop. On runway, two, uh, three. And obviously, don't forget to subscribe for this flight. Right. Let's get going. Let's push this up to here and we're stable and keep pushing it forward and flex SRS and run away. And that's first set and 80 knots. Get ready for it to become quite loud. Um, powering down the runway goodbye Glasgow. And that's V1 and rotate. And that is a positive freight gear up. And that's a good rate of climb accelerating. And that is holding pitch about 15 knots while allow us to accelerate. And we could just fly it by stick for now, actually. Um, a little bit turbulent, not too bad. Just fighting with the stick a little bit. Um, and we'll begin to lower the pitch a little bit to about maybe 10 degrees, all to really sort of start to accelerate so we can bring the flaps up. And we'll pull back now for climb thrust. And we'll bring the pitch down as well. We're passing about 2,000 feet, we'll engage the autopilot and we'll increase that and hold that on vertical climb um, there's no ATC so we are cleared right up to our cruising altitude so we can just continue that claim and we'll bring uh, flaps up like so okay that is a good uh, climb out and we can disarm some boilers like so and we can bring the nose light off and we can bring the oops we can bring the oops oops <laughs> oops <laughs> oops runway turnoffs can come off as well and we'll increase rate of climb okay uh that is us for the climb uh i will see you on the descent into uh la palma so enjoy the flight
and uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back uh, to the flight deck. We are on the initial approach into uh, La Palma. Um, everything's looking okay. We're on the MDB approach for runway 01. Temperature in La Palma is approximately 24 degrees Celsius. Um, and we are clear of traffic. There's no traffic at La Palma right now and there's no ATC. So we're in by ourselves. Um, now La Palma's an interesting approach. An approach I've not done before on this channel and I've done maybe once or twice. It's an NDB approach. Um, now I'm still not quite sure how we actually perform NDB approaches so you're, you're gonna learn with me uh, if that's uh, if that's you're catching my drift. Uh, low variable winds about 10 knots at the actual airfield itself. Uh, the plan is we're gonna turn in here um, and at about this stage here we're gonna keep descending and we're going to descend to about 2,000 feet um, we're actually going to increase that descent rate a little bit and then we'll decrease the speed at this point here. Um, from there we're going to actually be taking over control of the aircraft ourselves, and we're going to have to be doing a little bit of tricky hand flying into La Palma. So this might not be the smoothest landing but we'll have to wait and see. It's a bit different from other approaches you'll have seen so hopefully that keeps it interesting. Oh god we're at like 6,000 feet and I have not turned on the lights. My bad. Uh, on. That was my bad, that completely slipped my mind. Uh, okay, so that's all set. We will arm speed brakes. Um, and we can actually start to decrease speed now. We'll go 210 for initial approach speed. How far away are we from the airfield? We're about, let's that say, 22 miles to run to the airfield. At 15 miles we'll arm approach phase. Um, but everything's looking good. Calm seas, um, as far as I can see. Okay, okay, so we're decreasing speed for this turn, uh, bringing it back to about maybe, well, uh, we'll cut it 200 on the turn, I think. I can see La Palma over there, uh, very good visibility for this approach, so good stuff, good stuff. Um, once we start making the turn, we'll bring it back, I think we'll just bring it back now. So, decrease speed to 200 knots. And we can bring that descent up. We don't need that much of a descent. And we'll bring in flaps one. Like so. And beginning the initial turn. And we'll arm approach or activate approach phase. Uh, so we are now in the initial approach. And we're making the turn onto uh, La Palma. Okay, so that's 3,500 and we will decrease initial approach speed, which is 180. Uh, keep that speed DCL going down. Now, we'll, our final altitude fix is 1,400, which is right on the dot there, so we're making good track on the descent. And we're at 180, and we can hold it at 180 for now. Um, I don't think we'll need to descend much more. We'll actually increase that now so we can get a bit of descent going on. Uh, uh, 600 should cut us fine. Uh, we'll wait until we're closer to the airport because what you're going to do is, as you can see here, we'll bring it in and then I have to make a little turn into the actual runway if you've ever seen approaches into La Palma before. We got about a, right now it's a 12 knot headwind. Hopefully that should die down a bit as we enter uh, Close to the plumb. Is that a cruise ship? I swear that's a cruise ship. Wow. Didn't know I had sea traffic on. Um, once we get to about maybe 2,500, we'll drop the gear. Uh, just trying to get a little bit closer. Um, once we pass this, we'll consider ourselves on the uh, intermediate approach. And we'll change to... In fact, we'll just do it now. We'll change to track like so. Um, bring that down. There we go. Am I doing something wrong? I think I'm doing something wrong. 2,500. I think that's along the lines of something wrong. I think we might have been started to descend too early. Oh well. 
There's a first time for everything, apart from crashing. Don't crash, kids. That's bad advice. Uh, right. Overall, we're doing all right on this approach. Um, so far. Where's the runway? Let's use our super laser eye vision that all simulator pilots are born with. Where's the runway? Should be off to the side. Is that it there? Or is that it over there? I don't know. We're still too far out. I cannot see. Uh, it should be... I'm pointing. Uh, I don't know if you can see my pointy hands. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll drop the gear now. So gear down. It is going to get pretty loud at this bit, but hey ho. And we'll bring in flaps two. And we'll decrease speed to 170. Uh, where is the runway? Is that... Oh, there's the runway. I see it. Okay. Uh, so this is going to have us on the MDB. We're actually going to decrease speed for full configuration. And we're nice and low, nice and early. So we can bring in flaps free. and bring in flaps full. The reason we're configuring early is so that uh, I have time to take control of the aircraft and bring us in this approach because I've never actually came into La Palma before. Um, but everything looks good. Um, we want a consistent vertical speed um, and I'm actually going to take the autopilot off now. Like so and take control. So we're just going to lower the horizon. Uh, just trying to match us up with the horizon here. And we're going to keep us sort of level uh, as it brings us in here. Uh, slowly going to start uh, turning the aircraft uh, to keep in line with the flight path. Um, and just checking that gears are down and locked. Uh, flaps are full and uh, cabin's ready and lights are on. Right, gotta watch, don't want to overturn or crash into the hill, I believe is the idea of this. I wish it had a 5 knot come out range just so I could see a little bit more accurately what I'm actually doing. That would probably help. But just gotta focus. We're not gonna cut the turn quite as tight 1, as we normally do. Okay, one thousand. Gonna skip a bit of breathing room there. Okay, so far so good. I'll pitch the nose down maybe a little bit. And we'll cut the turn about there. Pitch the nose up, dropping a little bit. Okay, and bringing the nose back down. Keep it level. Okay, okay. And we're good to land. Happy showing is a little bit high. That's not bad. We are a little bit high. High as a kite, but we'll drop the nose. Five hundred. Uh, try and compensate. That should be enough. Thanks. Four hundred. Four hundred. Okay, that's a little bit too low again, a little bit too high, keeping the nose nice and steady. 300. Okay. 100 above. And just trying to keep it very 200. Stable now. Strong and stable. Minimum. Okay. 100. 70. 50, 40. 30. 20. Retard. And flare. 5. And we're down. And reversers. And reversers coming in now, full reverse. And 60, and we'll bring out the brakes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to La Palma. That was NTB approach onto a runway. On taxiway, one. on taxiway. And we'll bring spoilers up, track flaps. And we'll backtrack uh, down the runway. 
and pull into the taxi stands. That was overall not a bad landing. I am quite proud. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to go as well as it went. Uh, so there we go. Uh, temperature in La Palma 24 degrees. Uh, courtesy of Thomas Cook. Wow, this is quite. That was quite a fun approach. We'll have to do that more often. Uh, and for not knowing how to do the actual approach, I would say I pulled that off quite well. Not to toot my own horn. Okay, and uh, we'll slow it right down. And oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh no, parking brake. Oh, <laughs> my my rudder must have came off. Right, we can we can salvage that. Uh, I will be right back, and I'll see you at the gate. Now at uh, La Palma, we'll cut the engines because the APU is available. So we'll cut engine two, and we'll cut engine one. And we'll turn TCAS off as well, and weather radar can come off. Beacon light can come off. Seatbelt sights can come off, and the fuel pumps can all come off as well. Okie dokie, uh, let's uh, get outside and let's have a look at all the bags and stuff getting offloaded. And here we are at uh, La Palma. It's actually quite laggy actually now that I'm thinking we get about what's it, 17 frames per second for unloading cargo. It, was, it wasn't very laggy until I started to unload all the cargo. Um, but there you go, GSX rep computer. Um, so the passengers are getting offloaded right now. The bags, is it survived? Oh, it survived! The Menzies has survived! Yes! Fantastic, the Menzies has survived the trip. Thank God. Screw you, Swissport. No one wants Swissport Menzies. It's... Thank God Menzies survived. I thought for a second we were going to have two consistent episodes where the luggage hasn't survived, but it has. <sighs> Thank goodness. But all the cargo are now being offloaded onto the uh, baggage handling trolleys and all that sort of stuff. Um, what, a, what, a, what a great flight and what a great scenery. Uh, Aerosoft, uh, Aerosoft La Palma scenery. Absolutely fantastic, uh, very cheap sim market, and um, you can get it on, um, or you can get it on the actual Aerosoft uh, thing. Or did I get this off of sim market? I can't actually remember. Um, it might have been, it might have been off of Aerosoft itself. But this is uh, La Palma Airport. It's very nicely detailed, very well done. Wish I just wish there was more traffic here. Um, and this is the little bus um, everyone's getting off on. We'll just hop inside there and get a little view of the human perspective. But yes, this was Glasgow to La Palma. Flight request by, I think it was UK Aviation Spotter or something like that put it in. Thank you for your request. And for anyone who wants to submit more flight requests, um, there's a link in the description where you can submit all of the flight requests that you want to see. Um, until then, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe what your favourite part was. And let me know where you want me to see me flying next. Uh, but until then, happy days, and I will see you next time.